Module 3, Resume Building References. In this module, we have provided you with a resume samples in which you can use to better prepare you for the job. Use these resources wisely and best of luck, Resume Builder. If you do not have the time to go through different styles of templates, there are websites dedicated to helping you make them and print them. We would advise you to spend time and create your own as this may be time consuming, but you do not have to spend the money to use these resume builders that many websites offer. One such resume building website that we deem is helpful is resume.com. The website has several different styles of templates that you can choose to format your resume. You can pick the style you want and with each style, you may choose a different template. Each subheading for the templates will have a builder which you can fill in to create the resume. It also has features that allow you to upload the resume to your LinkedIn and print it on paid version. Resume samples. Resumes are tricky to write and getting started is the hardest part. But don't worry because we have you covered with several different resume examples that you can model your resume after. We have taken the liberty to scour some examples which you can use to help make your resume stand out and have that personalized touch. Electrical Engineer At the top of your resume, make sure to give a short summary of who you are, what skills you offer, and what are your career goals. This gives the employer a snapshot of who you are and why they should pick you out of all the candidates. Every field pertains to having a lot of soft skills that employers are looking for, so make sure that you have highlighted those in your working experiences. Take time to include active verbs like planned, organized, drafted, directed, trained, and others that involves you helping with a task. Make sure to address specifics of the engineering job and how your soft skills contributed to applying yourself in the job. For example, you manage a project and had to organize, delegate tasks to people so that the project could be completed to fruition. These show soft skills of leadership and management, as well as organization skills. In your education section, make sure to include your degree and which specialization of engineering you have your degree in. Many colleges nowadays allow you to specialize in a specific field of electrical engineering. So if you have a specialty track, make sure you outline it. Lastly, in your additional skills as you are engineer and work with a lot of software and programs that help you do the math, make sure to outline which software's languages you know and are proficient in. If you've used a specific software for a project at work, highlight that too in the work experiences and how you use that software to solve problems. Entry Level Nurse Once again, at the top of your resume, make sure to give a short summary of who you are, what skills you offer, and what are your career goals. This gives the employer a snapshot of who you are and why they should pick you out of all the candidates. For an entry-level nurse job, here is a resume we have found for you to model your own. When it comes to nursing, you need to showcase some skills on interpersonal relationships and also project management skills. So make sure these skills are highlighted in your resume. These should mainly be outlined in the areas of clinical experience. Make sure that you mention any externship, residency that you have done, and what were some of the patient care and other programs that you have trained in. Under education, make sure to list your licenses that you are certified in and what are the dates you obtained them in chronological order. If you have knowledge of different software that different hospitals use and you know how to use them, these additional skills will also be helpful for employer to know. Knowing more than one type of software and scheduling program allows you to showcase your skills and knowledge to set yourself apart from other candidates. Under your other work experiences, 
make sure you outline the medical care service related works such as any caregiving you did, any type of tutoring and daycare that you worked on. These will help showcase your other skills that you possess which give you a leg up over other candidates. IT professional. When applying for an IT job, it is very important to highlight the technical skills that you possess. These skills, for example, can be proficiency in programming languages like C++ or Java. These are skills that separate you from others. Knowing how to code and work with different languages can help employers decide how versatile your work skill sets are. So, if you know a lot of programming languages, and if you've worked with these languages on projects at work, make sure you mention them. Remember to highlight these skills specifically in technical skills section. Under work experience, you should always highlight internship that helped you improve your soft skills. Once again, use active verbs like commanded, obtained, and organized. Finally, under your educational qualifications, make sure to give your college degree and year of graduation. Teacher With increasing demand for teaching professionals who can teach English as a second language to foreign students, the job market for English teachers in the Philippines is very much in demand. Here in your resume, you should always make sure to highlight your teaching certification, your educational merits, and lastly, your professional experience. In your work experience, make sure to outline the job title of the teaching post you did and what it entailed. If it's an administrative teaching job, make sure to mention how you manage others and how you manage the work that was given to you. If it was strictly a professional teaching job, make sure you include how you created obtained, and organize your teaching notes and others. If you can use active verbs, this will help outline the skills for the job requirements your employers are looking for. Furthermore, don't forget to mention any additional skills that you may have. These could be counseling skills, teaching assistance skills, tutoring skills, and conflict management skills. If you don't have previous working experience, Mention any sort of experience that you had with children for extended periods of time, such as working in a developmental psychology lab during your college semester or even babysitting at a daycare center. By the end of this module, you should have a clear understanding of what a resume should outline and what kinds of resumes you can make. The samples should provide you with resources for examples from which you can draw from. Get started on your resume and best of luck.